Breadfruit, Wikipedia article audio. Breadfruit is a species of flowering tree in the mulberry and jackfruit family originating in the South Pacific and eventually spreading to the rest of Oceania. British and French navigators introduced a few Polynesian seedless varieties to Caribbean islands during the late 18th century, and today it is grown in some 90 countries throughout South and Southeast Asia, the Pacific Ocean, the Caribbean, Central America, and Africa. Its name is derived from the texture of the moderately ripe fruit when cooked, similar to freshly baked bread and having a potato-like flavor. According to DNA fingerprinting studies, breadfruit has its origins in the region of Oceania from New Guinea through the Indo-Malayan archipelago to Western Micronesia. The trees have been widely planted in tropical regions elsewhere, including lowland Central America, northern South America, and the Caribbean. In addition to the fruit serving as a staple food in many cultures, the tree's light, Sturdy timber has been used for outriggers, ships, and houses in the tropics. History Description Because breadfruit dispersal across Oceania was dependent on human seafaring, botanical research has correlated with the human colonization of Oceania, resulting in a theory that humans brought breadfruit seeds from Melanesia to settle in Polynesia and Micronesia over thousands of years. Sir Joseph Banks and others saw the value of breadfruit as a highly productive food in 1769, when stationed in Tahiti as part of the Endeavour expedition commanded by Captain James Cook. The late 18th century quest for cheap, High-energy food sources for slaves in British colonies prompted colonial administrators and plantation owners to call for the plant to be brought to the Caribbean. As president of the Royal Society, Banks provided a cash bounty and gold medal for success in this endeavour, and successfully lobbied his friends in government and the Admiralty for a British naval expedition. In 1787, William Bly was appointed captain of the HMS Bounty, and ordered to proceed to the South Pacific to collect the plants. In 1791, Bly commanded a second expedition with the Providence and the Assistant, which collected seedless breadfruit plants in Tahiti and transported these to St. Helena, in the Atlantic, and St. Vincent and Jamaica in the West Indies. Although Bly won the Royal Society Medal for his efforts, the introduction was not entirely successful, as most slaves refused to eat the new food. Breadfruit trees grow to a height of 26 m. The large and thick leaves are deeply cut into pinnate lobes. All parts of the tree yield latex, which is useful for boat caulking. The trees are monoecious, with male and female flowers growing on the same tree. The male flowers emerge first, followed shortly afterward by the female flowers. The latter grow into capitula, which are capable of pollination just three days later. Pollination occurs mainly by fruit bats, but cultivated varieties produce fruit without pollination. The compound False fruit develops from the swollen perianth, and originates from 1,500 to 2,000 flowers visible on the skin of the fruit as hexagon-like discs. Breadfruit is one of the highest yielding food plants, with a single tree producing up to 200 or more grapefruit-sized fruits per season, requiring limited care. In the South Pacific, the trees yield 50 to 150 fruits per year, usually round, oval or oblong weighing 0.256 kg. Productivity varies between wet and dry areas. Studies in Barbados indicate a reasonable potential of 16 to 32 tons per hectare. The ovoid fruit has a rough surface, 
and each fruit is divided into many akines, each akine surrounded by a fleshy perianth and growing on a fleshy receptacle. Most selectively bred cultivars have seedless fruit, whereas seeded varieties are grown mainly for their edible seeds. Bread fruit is usually propagated using root cuttings. Habitat Bread fruit is closely related to the bread nut, from which it might have been naturally selected. It is noticeably similar in appearance to its relative of the same genus, the jackfruit. Breadfruit has hundreds of varieties and thousands of common names varying according to its geographic distribution, and is cultivated in some 90 countries. Nutrition Breadfruit is an equatorial lowland species. It grows best below elevations of 650 meters, but is found at elevations of 1,550 meters. Preferred soils are neutral to alkaline and either sand, sandy loam, loam, or sandy clay loam. Breadfruit is able to grow in coral sands and saline soils. The breadfruit is ultra-tropical, requiring a temperature range of 1638 degrees C and an annual rainfall of 2250 cm. Breadfruit is 71% water, 27% carbohydrates, 1% protein, and negligible in fat. In a 100 gram amount, raw breadfruit is a rich source of vitamin C, a good source of thiamine and potassium, with no other nutrients in significant content. Breadfruit is a staple food in many tropical regions. The trees were first propagated far outside their native range by Polynesian voyagers who transported root cuttings and air-layered plants over long ocean distances. Breadfruit are very rich in starch, which transforms to sugars when very ripe. Before being eaten, the fruits are roasted, baked, fried or boiled. When cooked, the taste of moderately ripe breadfruit is described as potato-like, or similar to freshly baked bread. Uses Because breadfruit trees usually produce large crops at certain times of the year, preservation of the harvested fruit is an issue. One traditional preservation technique is to bury peeled and washed fruits in a leaf-lined pit where they ferment over several weeks and produce a sour, sticky paste. So stored, the product may last a year or more, and some pits are reported to have produced edible contents more than 20 years later. Fermented breadfruit mash goes by many names such as Mar, Ma, Macy, Furo, and Buiru, among others. In culture Most breadfruit varieties also produce a small number of fruits throughout the year. Fresh breadfruit is always available, but somewhat rare when not in season. Recipes Breadfruit can be eaten once cooked, or can be further processed into a variety of other foods. A common product is a mixture of cooked or fermented breadfruit mash mixed with coconut milk and baked in banana leaves. Whole fruits can be cooked in an open fire, then cored and filled with other foods such as coconut milk, sugar, and butter, cooked meats, or other fruits. The filled fruit can be cooked further so the flavor of the filling permeates the flesh of the breadfruit. In the Hawaiian staple food called poi, the traditional ingredient of mashed taro root can be replaced by, or augmented with, mashed breadfruit. The resulting breadfruit poi is called poi ulu. Breadfruit is also found in Indonesia and Malaysia, where it is called sukan. In Indonesia, fried breadfruit is sold by street food vendors, and is known as gornan. In the South Indian state of Kerala and coastal Karnataka, especially near Mangalore, where it is widely grown and cooked, it is known as katachukka, simachukka, tsikujaye, or digujaye.
Gallery. Breadfruit was brought to the Caribbean area and successfully cultivated. In Belize, the Mayan people call it masapan. In Puerto Rico, breadfruit is called panapan or pana, for short. In some inland regions it is also called maypen. Panna is often served boiled with a mixture of sautéed bacalao, olive oil, and onions. It is also served as tostans or mafongo. In the Dominican Republic, it is known by the name bun pan or good bread. Breadfruit was widely used in a variety of ways among Pacific Icelanders. Its lightweight wood is resistant to termites and shipworms, so it is used as timber for structures and outrigger canoes. Its wood pulp can also be used to make paper, called breadfruit tapa. Native Hawaiians used its sticky latex to trap birds, whose feathers were made into cloaks. The wood of the breadfruit tree was one of the most valuable timbers in the construction of traditional houses in Samoan architecture. Breadfruit contains phytochemicals having potential as an insect repellent. The parts of the fruits that are discarded can be used to feed livestock. The leaves of breadfruit trees can also be browsed by cattle. On Pulawat in the Caroline Islands, in the context of sacred Yitang lore, breadfruit is a figure of speech for knowledge. This lore is organized into five categories, war, magic, meetings, navigation, and breadfruit. According to an ideological Hawaiian myth, the breadfruit originated from the sacrifice of the war god K. After deciding to live secretly among mortals as a farmer, K married and had children. He and his family lived happily until a famine seized their island. When he could no longer bear to watch his children suffer, K told his wife that he could deliver them from starvation, but to do so he would have to leave them. Reluctantly she agreed, and at her word, K descended into the ground right where he had stood until only the top of his head was visible. His family waited around the spot he had last been, day and night, watering it with their tears until suddenly, a small green shoot appeared where K had stood. Quickly, the shoot grew into a tall and leafy tree that was laden with heavy breadfruits that K's family and neighbors gratefully ate, joyfully saved from starvation. Though they are widely distributed throughout the Pacific, many breadfruit hybrids and cultivars are seedless or otherwise biologically incapable of naturally dispersing long distances. Therefore, it is clear that humans aided distribution of the plant in the Pacific, specifically prehistoric groups who colonized the Pacific Islands. To investigate the patterns of human migration throughout the Pacific, Scientists have used molecular dating of breadfruit hybrids and cultivars in concert with anthropological data. Results support the west-to-east -east migration hypothesis, in which the Lapita people are thought to have traveled from Melanesia to numerous Polynesian islands. The world's largest collection of breadfruit varieties was established by botanist Diane Ragoni from over 20 years travel to 50 Pacific Islands on a 10-acre plot outside of Hana, Hawaii, on the isolated east coast of Maui. Many ways to cook breadfruit have been popularized. In Sri Lanka, it is cooked as a curry using coconut milk and spices or boiled. Boiled breadfruit is a famous main meal. It is often consumed with scraped coconut or coconut sambal, made of scraped coconut, red chili powder and salt mixed with a dash of lime juice. A traditional sweet snack made of finely sliced, sun-dried breadfruit chips deep-fried in coconut oil and dipped in heated treacle or sugar syrup is known as Rada del Petit. In India, fritters of breadfruit, 
called Jeev Kach Fadai in Konkani or Katachuka Veruthath in Malayalam are a local delicacy in coastal Karnataka and Kerala. In Seychelles, it was traditionally eaten as a substitute for rice, as an accompaniment to the mains. It would either be consumed boiled or grilled, where it would be put whole in the wood fire used for cooking the main meal and then taken out when ready. It is also eaten as a dessert, called Ladab Free Eapan, where it is boiled in coconut milk, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. In Puerto Rico, it is traditionally eaten boiled with bacalao. It is also used to make rulinas de pana, mafongo, tostans de pana, and even laysana de pana. A popular dessert is also made with sweet ripe breadfruit, flan de pana. In Barbados, breadfruit is boiled with salted meat and mashed with butter to make breadfruit kalku. It is usually eaten with saucy meat dishes. Both ripe and unripe fruits have culinary uses, but unripe breadfruit is cooked before consumption. In Jamaica, breadfruit is boiled in soups or roasted on stove top, in the oven or on wood coal. It is usually eaten with the national dish ackee and salt fish. The ripe fruit is used in salads or fried as a side dish. Artocarpus altilis in Malaysia The trunk of A. altilis Mature A. altilis fruit in Malaysia